This is Isiolo School for the Deaf located at Isiolo County. The school started in the year 1992 as a unit which later upgraded to a school for the deaf in 1996. My name is Godfrey Nikuda Bueria, Principal Isiolo School for the Deaf. This school was started in 1992 as a unit and later it was upgraded to a school for the deaf in 19. The school started with one girl, but at the end of the year, the school had eight pupils. In academics, the school has been performing well, taking at least ten pupils to national secondary schools. In academic areas, our school does well. For the last three years, it has been improving. The year 2017. Our mission is to make our school the best special school in our county not only in academics but in co-curricular activities one of the challenges that we face when teaching this learner you get a learner understanding a concept he or she takes so much time because probably she has he or she has no the previous knowledge aku pata me akiwa class hizi class za chini tunapata kuelewa concept so teaching a concept you take so much time especially when you are teaching mathematics awana hiyo kwa akili you have to go the long way to explain it so that you can understand the new curriculum has really favored our pupils because most of them are talented in games athletics farming animal rearing, drawing, dancing, cooking and many other ways. Kwa upande wa games, watoto wetu wanajaribu. Our school has gone up to national level in music, ball games and athletics and during drama festivals our team has participated at regional level. Our school has spacious dormitories for boys and girls who have very caring and loving house mothers who take good care of them. Sasa hii ndio domu ya wasichana. Hapa ndio baada ya kutoka class 10, hapa ndio wanakuja wananikuta. Na mimi wananikuta hapa nikiwa na wagoja. Wanakuja wanacheji school uniform. Alafu wanavua na wanaoga wakigojea sapa na naona hapa mimi ndio nalala hapa kwa hiyo mimi ndio nalala alafu wao domu yao ni hapa ndani sasa hao watoto kazi yangu nikiamka asubuhi na waosha na hakikisha hata wao wakubwa wameoga wale wadogo na waosha na wasaidia wanatadika kitanda wana clean dom unaona dom iko safi kutadika wametadika vizuri na wakimaliza hata kufagia wanafagia wana make sure domu yao ni clean alafu by saa 2 ikifika by saa moja na saa moja wameenda breakfast wakimaliza breakfast wanaenda parade na sasa hao wanakutana na walimu ndio wanaanza masomo tena by jioni tena after classes saa kumi tena wananikuta hapa na warara na wao paka asubuhi. Mm -hmm. Hiyo e, ndio juti yangu na nafurahia kama kuwa mala yao. Our children eat balanced diet in all their meals. This has been made possible because of the clean and adequate water from the school borehole that was sponsored by the government through the Northern 
water board. This water has also improved hygiene in our school because our children can wash their clothes well, their rooms and their bodies. <laughs> The school has enough teachers who have mastered the Kenyan Sign Language well and also well trained in competency-based curriculum which we have already implemented. And uh, we discuss them as we receive these children. Where do we start? We receive our children at an age of three and we have got no age limit. Uh, we receive them very blank. They come from home with the natural science, as we call in the same language. And our communication mode here in the solo school for the deaf is sign language. So it becomes, uh, it is very hard to start teaching a child who is very blunt with the natural science. So it is our um, duty and responsibility to teach them to acquire the sign language, which is the mode of communication in the solo school for the deaf. So I'm teaching grade 3, it is a class for the new curriculum, CBC is on progress, and then in this grade, we have many subjects, almost 10. So one major problem I face is the parental engagement and the empowerment. These children are about us, sometimes you need bottle tops, you need attires for music, we need something to be brought from home. So, because they don't go home, there is that breaking their parental engagement because they are, they are borders, they stay in school. And then the other one, the subject is many. Then when we have at least seven lessons per day. But for Alana, who is hearing impaired, we teach three, four, they get tired, we just need to motivate them. But those seven, seven lessons in a day is really a challenge for them. The teachers agree that CBC is the best for the hearing impaired children because most of them have talents that can be well nurtured through CBC. that God has given us to do, because whatever you are doing to the child, it is only God who can do what you are doing to the child. Because the At the end of their primary school education, they leave the school well equipped with self-reliant skills that can help them outside. And those children who do not come to school, those who will drop out of school, will go for them. Go for them and bring them back to school and they are not lacking anything. Isiolo School for the Deaf is the best school one can enroll a hearing impaired child. Our school has the best assessment equipment where before a child is enrolled is assessed to determine the level of deafness. Those who are hard of hearing are provided with hearing aids. <laughs> 